Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to Stellaris, the Barrington Empire. We were recently attacked by the Bad Men, the Avterin Bad Men, who are kind of disgusting, weird little monster things. Anthropoids, they look like weird ants. And despite being pacifist and fanatic collectivist, they're still super aggro, which is lame. But, in the last episode, we played some very good plays, and we actually managed to destroy the spaceport above their capital. And essentially, completely ransack their land. And although their military might is double ours, we are gaining a very good amount of joy and winning. So currently, our Barrington Force 1 is moving to Kreloff to destroy more spaceports. We have a third fleet, which is moving to the... Uh, LR9 Singularity for the express purpose of ensuring that we know whenever a new fleet is moving. We actually do have bearer, bearer destroyers that we have built. We're not actually going to be building any of those because... Honestly, we just want to keep building our cav our cavaliers. And our cavaliers are the little because they have these lovely rail guns. Some decent shields and power and a very nice evasion rate. Our power is not good at all, but I think we're doing really well. The key thing is that, like, we're damaging so much. Okay, we made a new contact. The sh the chim. We've met the chim. Who are the chim? Oh, good. They're miles away. So why do I care? Hostile fleet engaged. What? What were they engaged with? I think they have killed something. In oh, okay, they jumped in, and then it immediately takes in something. So they're attacking a defensive station, I think. I can't I can't really tell. Whoa, that's actually pretty powerful. Okay. Doesn't even matter. Um attacking the defensive station, and then we'll destroy their two spaceports because there are actually two planets right here. Which is really good. It means you can destroy a lot of stuff. And our spotters are in the LR9 singularity. These guys don't have any military power, do they? Fleet engaged. Look at this. So they are actually using some kinetic weapon damage, but they're basically doing nothing. Situation log updated. Oh, that was easy. And as there's some stuff, some science we could gain, we're going to research their some projects because. I would really like to gain lots of research. Also, the science ship will let us know if their forces start moving. So the spaceport is being destroyed. Wow, there's basically nothing they can do, isn't there? Wow. Go us. And the Admiral has just leveled up. Oh, yes. Which, reduce, which increases fire rate and reduces ship upkeep, which is fantastic. Right. We will now move to the the Japris system. Which I think will be a very good gain for us. And we're just going to continue to get war score. Look at this. These space battles are starting to really give us a lot of war score. Of course, our relative naval strength is not super duper. Hmm, what could we rebuild? They've destroyed a little bit of our stuff, but to be honest, not a huge amount. Might go build some more power. Hostile fleet engaged. Hey, what? That's oh, okay, it's okay, it's okay. The research station doesn't have any actual damage, so. Oh, they've, they've actually taken some damage. Oh! Really? It actually seems to be doing some damage. Oh, there's actually a mass driver. I didn't realize there was a mass driver. It's fine. Oh, wow. Look at this. So, yeah, there's tons of things to destroy here. I did not realize science ships came with the mass drivers. Wow. I didn't even know that. Cool. 
I learned something new today, guys. I still don't really know where the enemy fleet is. I would quite like to know. It would be good to know where they are. Situation log updated. Nice. Okay, so these, these guys are actually doing a little bit of damage. So we are actually starting to suffer teensy tiny bits of damage every now and then. Uh, let's, just, let's just start crippling all their science production. Let's go. How's your endless battle? It's going okay. So I don't really know where the bad men are. Are they with someone else? No, just us. Wow. Do I really have a war machine though? Yeah. They won't accept anything. Unless it is full. That's alright. These are going to be some fun gains. I would really like to be able... Where? That's alright. Doesn't actually show it doing any damage though, which is weird. That's pretty strange. Situation log updated. Wonderful. This is interesting. It doesn't really show them doing any damage, and it does show them shooting. Okay, so we're continuing to build up our little energy production. We should also be continuing our production of Corvettes. So we just got some physics research and some other research. That's actually kind of lame. Not very good debris, to be honest. But it'll do. Hostile fleet engaged. Good stuff. Situation log updated. So wow, we've just destroyed like so much in the system. We're just doing so much work. Perhaps we should we should assign a new lead. Let's assign a new uh, admiral here, and let's start you know let's start shipping him around. Let's send him over here. We got six corvettes. That's a nice sized force. Well, not really. It's tiny as hell, but we can do some stuff. Situation log updated. They're just not able to stop me, are they? Like at all? So what's to stop me? Start what's the ah? Oh. I just don't understand what's to stop me just destroying everybody right now. We just embark all these armies. And we send them to Nico. Like, are we just going to start to make some serious gains? Ooh, this Corvette's suffering. Holy shit. Hostile fleet engaged. Construction just trying to take that one thing. Christ. Analyzed. And again, not a huge amount of gain there. Situation log updated. Jesus, this is awesome. We're actually gonna win this, I think. Like, I seriously think we can win this. Hostile fleet engaged. Like, we're doing so much damage and getting so much war score. Situation log updated. They're not able to do anything. This is amazing. We can start researching projects and possibly get some really nice science. Situation log updated. Hey, you managed to beat him. Good job, bro. You should go repair. And we will send our new, our old one back. What's happening? It's fine. Sorry, every single time that happens, I panic like a madman. Right, we'll combine those fleets. 
Situation log updated. And we should just keep building corvettes. You know. Hostile fleet engaged. Not a problem. There really isn't anything. They just can't seem to stop me. Situation log. Updated. I guess it's because of the sheer speed that we're doing things. And it's, it's working, so... Let's keep going. Let's get these guys over there. We got our strike team up here as well. Which is going really well. And our assault army... Damn it, they need to... It, the problem is they jump, they warp to different edges of the galaxy. And then there's that awkward situation where they're kind of like sitting there waiting. Right, let's go jump into the planet. Wait, I thought they had a planet here. No, that's in there. All right, let's head over there and let's see if we can get these fleets together. Research complete. Yeah, research alternatives are very good tech because, oh my god, is it nice. Ooh, hyperdrive. Very nice. New hyperdrive. Doesn't really say what it improves, which is a bit irritating. Um, and we will get the physics lab. I think it's kind of all we really need. Right, we finally have a, a proper assault army. So we'll recruit a general. Lifespan, morale, army morale and damage. Excellent. Glory seeker. Ah, oh, no, we've got the maximum number of leaders. So we need to cut down some of the leaders. Are there anyone who is kind of sitting there touching themselves unnecessarily? I don't think... I don't think we need... Um, we don't need the two-star guy with the resilient lifespan, so I don't think that was necessary. So that was a bit of a wasted purchase. Well, no, let's get rid of one of the governors. Let's get rid of one of the governors. Blam! Awesome. We'll get a new general. Excellent. Because we need a general. Absolutely need a general. We bugged? Oh god, don't crash. It's fine, it's fine. There's a bit of a freeze. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. They've, they've rebuilt their spaceport. And they are attempting to attack things. Oh! Okay, I found their fleet. They are attacking my strike force. Uh, then let us leave. No, thank you. Debris analyzed. Got some debris. Physics research engineering your church. That's pretty lame. Where are they going? Entering hyperlane to Liz. No, 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 no. Can we? Can we just try and keep them around a little bit longer? Hostile fleet engaged. Awesome. If we Hostile could take this system. That would be crazy good if we could take the system. Situation log update. Look at this, we're basically kind of leading them on a merry chase. Situation log updated. Right. So this should definitely be unlimited. Um, what type of planet is this? This is actually a tundra world that we can't even colonize properly. So that's a bit lame. So let's just let's just keep. Hmm. Can we make it so it's heavy bombardment? That'd be really helpful. Da, 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 da. We can actually do full environment bombardment. So I don't care. Do we change it to full? It does mean a tile block. Oh, a 10% chance each month. We have to do this so quickly, so. Honestly, I don't even care. So I appear to have a little bit of freezes now and then, which is a bit lame. A 
Construction complete. I'm trying to distract them a little bit. I'm playing a bit of a bit of a game. By keeping them in this area, we're forcing them to do particular things. Excellent. So we're playing a bit of a chase with the AI here. Alright, now we'll start sending them away, because I really don't want to lose the fleet. Though perhaps it would be best if they, if they died. If they died, but we, we gained huge amounts. Mm. I actually do want purity campaigns, because I think it's going to be really useful. Building up that extra happiness, especially on conquered planets. Get them to stop. Can, we can. Okay, we got them to stop their jump again. The key thing is I just want to stop their jump. I just want to stop their ability to move around. Because they start moving into the hyper lane. This is going really, really well. Maybe we could play a little bit of a trick. This is a bit cheesy. You ready for this? We might start moving, and they attack, and so they immediately lose their hyperlane status. This is cheesy as shit. Look at that, and then they start again. And they attack. And they attack. Nice. Which means they are just unable to properly stop them. Debris analyzed. Oh good, some debris. Okay, what do we get? Do we not get anything? You for real? Come on. Wow, hyperlane speed is so fast. And then it cancels. Look at that, and it cancels again. Awesome. We've only got some defense, very small defensive fleets as well. This is amazing. We can swap to limited now, honestly. It doesn't actually matter. Oh, we did actually create some uh, some tile blockers, didn't we? Wow. Oh, the tile blockers are crater, isn't it? And it stops them again. Oh, this is so cheesy. So this is using a really large amount of cheese. I am basically France right now. Oh, I feel bad about this. It should lock you into it when you start moving. Look at this. This is so cheesy. That is a lovely exploit. That is such a good exploit. I'll make a separate video of this on YouTube. Holy crap, that is a really good exploit. Oh, I feel dirty. So dirty. God, they jump so fast, don't they? Jesus Christ. Look at this bombardment, though. This warp tech is so fast. That wasn't very good, was it? Instead, starts recharging these projects. It's very good to have this kind of forward, <laughs> this forward dude. I mean, <laughs> if you get five and you get ten research points a time, like that's basically nothing. How much do we get a turn? <laughs> we have forty-two progress a month, so it's it's it saves it by a couple days, so not not really the hugest of effects. Nice. Right, planet taken. Nice. What are you doing? No, not you as well. 
Douche, what are you doing? Why would you think that's what I want you to do? Oh, I feel so dirty. Feels quite tactical though. There we go, there's the invasion. Wow. So we've just managed to completely and totally disregard the AI and its feelings. That is absolutely amazing. Wow. Wait, are they now, are they now sending... What? Shit, they're merging with a different swarm. Okay, now it might be the time to leave, yeah. Definitely the time to leave. Yeah, let's leave. Oh, here we go, though. Look at this. Let's just keep saying this fleet out of here. So much war score. This is disgusting. A bit more habitability. Here we go. This is what I like. Enemy planet secure. Done. Oh my god, we just beat them. We literally just won the war. Ah, oh, that wasn't our war goal. Ah, we took... Why didn't we put Shek as our war goal? Bollocks. That would have been very smart to do. Okay, I think our war goal wasn't very good. Alright, in the next episode, we're going to continue this conflict and continue with our cheesy, cheesy strats. Because this is really excellent. If we can keep doing this, we can try and take Kof. I think we should have definitely taken this. I realise now because this would have been amazing as a buffer zone. We could have put defences here and here and kept all our fleets just here and driven the area apart. That would have been amazing and we suck. But it's alright. We're doing really well. We can't face them in all our battle, but we can force them into peace for 10 years, which would allow us to build up our fleet. So, I was Aldrin, I'll continue to be, and this has been Stellaris. I think we just cheesed our way into a victory. Bye-bye.